Haas Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional, TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, The Spirit of Competition. John 17, 23 says, I and them and you and me. May they be brought to complete unity to the, let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. A story is told about F.B. Meyer, the great Bible teacher and pastor who lived a century ago. He was pastoring a church and began to notice that attendance was suffering. This continued until he finally asked some members of his congregation one Sunday morning why they thought attendance was down. A member volunteered, It is because of this new church down the road. The young preacher has everyone talking, and many are going to hear him speak. His name was Charles Spurgeon. Meyer, rather than seeking to discourage this, exhorted the entire congregation to join him and go participate in seeing this move of God as he described it to his congregation. If this be happening, then God must be at work. Meyer, even though he was an accomplished preacher and teacher, recognized where God was at work and joined him in it. Can you imagine this story taking place in our competitive world today? Competition has penetrated the church so much that many churches and Christian organizations approach ministry like a sports event. They view their mission as a business that seeks to gain market share among Christians, donors, members, influence, all under the name of God. I'm sure God looks down at this and says, Whatever happened to John 17, 23? Sometimes we must remind our fellow servants that we are all on the same team. We should be seeking to impact the kingdom of God, not increase our own market share. When Jesus made this statement about unity in John 17, 23, it represented the key to bringing salvation to many. He was saying that when his body is unified, the non-Christian would be able to see who Jesus really is, the Son of God. Are you contributing to unity in the body of Christ, or are you contributing to a spirit of competition? Ask God where you can be an instrument of unity in his body. You know, I've worked on a lot of organizations and uh, associations where we try to bring the body of Christ together uh, in the workplace and other areas and churches. And I can tell you that turf war is real. And we see it all the time. You know, people protecting their donors that protect their list of names. And, and uh, really, you know, if we are followers of Christ, we don't have to worry about those things. We should be able to willingly support others and uh, really fulfill John 17, 21 to 23. And I want to pray that for us today, that we can be people of a unified body of Christ. Lord, we thank you that John 17 tells us that your call for us to, is to love one another and walk together, because that's what's going to allow the, the world to see Christ and respond to the message of salvation. So give us your grace to lay down any territorial uh, tendencies we have in our ministries or businesses or churches. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.